Okay, we're here with John. Now, John has had a Achilles repair. He ruptured his Achilles over 10 weeks ago. He's done the whole thing where he's gone for surgery. He's been in the boot for nine weeks, and now he's been out of the boot for a couple of weeks now. He's now into week 10, okay, and he is doing his first set of calf raises today. So this is the day where he gets out of his comfort zone and starts doing some work. You can see down here, Here's his repair, so take a look at that. So, beautiful little scar there. You can see how, there's a couple of things going on. This scar's great. He's got a thickened Achilles, which is normal, right? If you look at this one here, okay, that's the size of his left one, that's his normal one, his right one's thicker. We expect that, okay, it's gonna fill up with scar tissue, it's gonna be a bit thickened for a while, that's gonna be fine. The good thing about John is he's got decent calf bulk, right? He's one of those lucky people who's got good calves, Therefore, on his right, you can see how he's lost. He's got some atrophy on that calf, that's normal, but it's not that much because he's genetically got decent calves going on there, okay? So he's one of the lucky ones. Some other people really struggle with this, his calf's gonna come back quite well. So what he needs to do, work on is isometric first. There's two exercises in the program that are additional to what he's already doing, and one exercise is an isometric calf raise. So what he's gotta do, he's gotta pretend that he's on two sets of scales, okay? So imagine like he's on a set of scales here, he's on a set of scales here. When he goes up onto his toes, meaning lifting his heels, do that for me, John, he's gotta go up there and try and hold that for 10 seconds to start with. He's gotta get used to being 50% here, 50% here, okay? He's gonna probably start off maybe sort of 60, 40 or 70, 30, come down again for me. But all he's aiming for is three sets of 10 second holds. By the end of the week, he should be doing three sets of 30 second holds. So this is an endurance event for him. It's also a, a thing about trying to get out of this sort of more weight on the good leg and less on the bad. So by the end of the week, I want him 50-50, confident, being able to do 30 seconds. It's gonna take seven days to get there, okay? Doing this every single day. In addition to his bike and all his other little exercises he's doing, the weight bearing stuff, is one of the most important and things he's gonna start on. So try that again for me, John. So he's gonna think, push through his big toe on both feet, lift his heels. Now he's already higher than when he started last time, which is great. Okay, and you can see his calf is already working quite well there. All right, and then come down again. So that's his isometrics. Then he has to work on reps. So he's actually trying to get good at doing three sets of 10 calf raises. And again, the same sort of drill, trying to be 50-50 over time, okay? So the three sets stays the same throughout the whole week. He's just trying to get better at his weight bearing, and over that week, he will build strength, because guess what? Next week, he's going into harder exercises. Let's try that for me, for me, John. So up onto your toes, so he's doing reps with this. Now, you notice he's hanging on, that's fine, okay? I want people having a bit of security going on here where he can feel confident to do this exercise by holding on here. Now, if he's at home, he could just do use a wall. One thing you gotta do is try and make it slow on the way down. So don't let yourself go quick on the way down. We wanna learn eccentric control, so it's up and down slow, okay? The other thing about that is you need time to get used to spending more time on that right leg. So the time factor of learning how to load bear, there's also time and attention which gets the tendon stronger. So the slower you go on those, the more time you've got strengthening. So think about that one. But definitely, if you haven't got a case like this, you use a wall to go up and down. So for this, this is one of the most important things he's doing this week, is getting used to that. That's also gonna help his walking. Because when he walks, he walks with a shuffle because he doesn't have as much strength in that leg. Okay, he also doesn't have as much range in that leg. So we'll, this will directly help us walking. By the time he comes in next week, he's gonna be walking a lot better, right? So those are his homework exercises, okay, for well, the additions for this week. When we go through week 11 and 12, you will see the changes in the calf raise and how it progresses. The other thing we're working on with him is trying to get his walking a little bit better. He's limping, which is normal, because he's got a shortened, weakened Achilles. So when he steps through his left foot, he can't step through as far. All right, so when he takes a step with his right foot, that's normal because he's low bearing on this. And when he, if you just take a step forward from his right foot, okay, he can step forward. And the other thing about it, if you notice that, he can push up with that toe, he's got enough length on that to step forward. With his left foot, if you try and step forward with your left foot, he's just not got as much because he can't 
well, he hasn't got the flexibility on this as much. He hasn't got the strength. So when he walks normally, let's have a little look at that without even trying. Just go over there for me, John, then come this way. You'll notice what happens. Immediately, the good leg does a short step. So if you see that short step there, so his good leg goes short because he hasn't got the length here to take a long step with his left. All right? So instead of trying to force him on this week to go, oh, you must do a long step, Okay, we don't want him stretching the crap out of it. What I want him doing is trying to get more even. Okay, and then what happens is we slowly get the strides longer. This takes a little bit of time because he's going to have to slow his pace down a little bit. So it's done in a sort of an environment around the house and when he's maybe going to the coffee shop where you can just take his time. So if you try now for me, John, turn around and face that way again. What he's going to try and do, actually face me, I'll show the crowd here. When he steps forward, He's only going to step forward with his bad leg as far as he can go with his good leg. So we've aimed for, okay, I want your foot at least, or the heel, at least the same as his toe. Okay, so when he steps forward, he's going to basically go one foot there, one foot behind, and one foot straight in front. Not the normal step. So he shortens up both his strides, but what that does is gives him, stops him limping, okay, and gets him used to rolling through. Yes, they're short steps but it stops the limp, all right? So let's try that. So he's gonna go from left to right and try and keep even as he can. So he's gotta get that left foot forward so his left heel goes in front, just in front of his right. Now you'll see with that, his limp now is almost minimal. And that's good because we don't want his back getting sore, we don't want to get his hip flexors getting sore. And this actually pushes himself through, gives him enough time, he slowed his pace down and it also, like he mentioned before to me, he's been rolling on the outside of his foot because he, he's too scared about pushing through his big toe. So when he takes this foot forward, he doesn't want to push off through that big toe. Okay, He's been rolling out like this, which hasn't done his lateral calf any favors. We've had to loosen that up. So, But now here we have the comments, okay, I can push through my big toe because my step isn't massive. All right? He doesn't have to go, oh, I have to really push through and get to there. He only has to get to there. All right? As I said, when he gets better, I'd say, imagine when I see him in a week, his stride will be bigger because he's practiced. And then every week that'll get bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where it comes normal. And that progressive strengthening is the safest way of getting that right. See you next time.